friends welcome back to my channel having understood the mega projects of various prosperous southern states of india it is time to add another biggie in the high octane list so in this video we will discuss about the significant infrastructural efforts pushed up by the central as well as state administration in the renowned state of andhra pradesh before that if you are new to this channel i would request you to please subscribe to the channel and do not forget to press the like button Now Andhra Pradesh is a state in the southeastern coastal region of India. It is also known as the rice bowl of India for being a major producer of rice in India. Its official language is Telugu which is one of the classical languages of India and also the fourth most spoken language in the country. Talking about its natural advantages Andhra Pradesh is one of the storehouses of mineral resources in India. Andhra Pradesh with varied geographical formations contain rich and variety of industry minerals and building stones. Andhra Pradesh is listed at the top in the deposit and production of mica in India. Minerals found in the state include limestone, reserves of oil and natural gas, manganese and many more. The state is also emerging in information technology and biotechnology. The development of IT in tier 2 and tier 3 cities like Vijayawada, Kakinada and Tirupati is also improving very rapidly. Hence it would not be an exaggeration if Andhra Pradesh can be called as one of the strongest pillars of Indian economy. On that note in the next 5 minutes let us find out the top 5 mega projects coming up in the strategically well located region of Andhra Pradesh. To make it more interesting we'll move in the descending order depending on the nature of project. So fifth in this list is the Skill University coming up in various districts of the coastal state. This futuristic project will give a fillip to the rural economy as large sections of the society can arm themselves with skills and ensure a strong livelihood for themselves. Andhra Pradesh government has passed an order and accorded administrative sanction to the State Skill Development Corporation for the establishment of one skill development university and 30 skill development colleges across the state. One college will be set up in each of the 25 parliamentary constituencies, one each will be set up in IITs across the state and one will be set up in Puri Vendila which is the Chief Minister Y.S. Jagan Mohan Reddy's constituency. Each skill college will have a capital expenditure of rupees 20 crores. For the operating expenditure, funds from the Deen Dayal Upadhyay Gramin Kaushal Yojana, Pradhan Mantri Kaushal Vikas Yojana, and other schemes of the Government of India will be used. As far as the completion date of the project is concerned, it is slated to be grounded by the next three years. It is for sure that the youngsters and unskilled youth, once getting trained in these skill centers, they will surely become industry ready and get directly recruited by the corporate giants, or also they can become entrepreneurs in the long run and become economically self-dependent in the true sense of the term. Moving on to the fourth in this list, it is the petrochemical corridor, which is still under the planning stage. But once the blueprint is drawn, it will be the biggest. boost to not only the state's revenue as well as national economy as per reports the central government is in favor of establishing a petrochemical corridor in the research rich state talking about the cost of the corridor it will be set up at a whooping cost of rupees 25000 crore the state government has presented the project report on the petrochemical complex to the center this plan will pave the way for all round industrial development coupled with employment generation in the region it is believed that as many as 50 lakh jobs can be created including investments flowing into the petrochemical field in the coming 2 to 3 years investments to the tune of rupees 30000 crore can be expected in the east coast corridor including the participation of allied industries and the plans of the state and central government getting executed as decided state government said up to rupees 2 lakh crore investments are expected to be generated shifting our focus on the third mega project which is all set to hit the floors is the vijayawada metro light vijayawada light metro is a light rail transit system with two lines and 51 stations proposed to be built in the city of vijayawada and amravati the new capital of andhra pradesh by the andhra pradesh metro rail corporation The project was originally conceived as a heavy rail based mass rapid transit system and the Andhra Pradesh government signed an agreement with the Delhi Metro Rail Corporation to execute its 26.03 km phase 1 project in September 
the DMRC invited civil construction bids for both lines but cancelled procurement due to its high cost and low ridership projections which were not in line with the government of India's new metro rail policy in 2017 and 18. The state government opted for a light rail transit system and therefore it now plans to connect Gannavaram Vijayawada Amravati in three phases with a 66.2 km network at an estimated cost of rupees 15000 crore the project is currently awaiting the state government's approval after the project is decommissioned it will surely turn out to be a savior for the local people of vijayawada the second in this glorious list is the polavaram irrigation project the ambitious mega project was announced in the central government's bid to change the farming and industrial landscape of the state of andhra pradesh Polavaram project is constructed near Polavaram village. Historically, the area is known as Prolavaram. The Polavaram irrigation project is a multi-purpose one conferring irrigation benefits in the upland areas of Visakhapatnam. It also envisages drinking water supply to Visakhapatnam township and other towns and villages en route and industrial water supply to the Visakhapatnam coast based steel plant and other industries in the vicinity generation of hydel power affording navigation facilities development of pisciculture and providing recreation and other benefits besides urbanization Interestingly the center has set a target of December 2021 for the completion of the Polavaram irrigation project. Significantly the mega project aims to irrigate 2.91 lakh hectares and generate 960 megawatt of power along with fulfilling the water needs of industries and 540 villages of Andhra Pradesh. Bagging the top position is the Chennai Vizag industrial corridor. which is all set to fuel the industrialization in the coastal states Visakhapatnam Chennai Industrial Corridor also known as Vizag Chennai Industrial Corridor is a key part of the East Coast Economic Corridor which is planned by the central government of India India's first coastal corridor which is the VCIC is aligned with the golden quadrilateral and is poised to play a critical role in driving India's act east policy and make in india campaign The nearly 800 km corridor links India with the Association of Southeast Asian Nations that is abbreviated as ASEAN and East Asian economies that forms the bedrock of global manufacturing economy. VCIC supports government of India strategy to develop industrial corridors of international standards for expanding its manufacturing and services sector and creating modern urban centers connected by state of the art infrastructure. Currently the project is under speedy construction and may stick to its deadline of 2022. Apart from these special mega projects there are plenty lined up to add glory on the heart of the state. The Visakhapatnam light metro, Amravati smart city, 6000 crore road connectivity projects and Amul sponsored horticulture development giving a fillip to the farmers income. With this we come to the end of this video signing off with a strong belief that you must have liked the video and hence i would request you once again to please like and share the video and do not forget to subscribe the channel to remain updated about the various infra projects coming up across the length and breadth of the country next up is the neighboring state of telangana and let's see what the state has planned to meet the needs of the population of the state thank you for watching the video